fishing PVA can be a devastating tactic through the cooler months. Going into autumn and winter, it's a really great way of catching fish. When the fish aren't feeding so much and it's more about location, presenting a small amount of free bait over a highly attractive hook bait is the perfect tactic. And there's no better place for me to use it than big reservoirs like this, Hearts Hill Reservoir, where there's some cracking fish and you can have a really good day sport with good location and good presentation. For those that don't know, PVA is basically a little mesh bag which you can put some bait inside, tie a knot in it, attach it to your hook or slide it down your hook length, cast it in the lake and what will happen is, as soon as the water gets around it, it will melt the bag, leaving your free helpings and your perfectly presented hook bait over the top. Tying a PVA bag is pretty simple. You need to get yourself a little kit like this and that's got everything you need in. There's two types of baits you can use in a PVA bag, hard pellets, or a soft mix of ground bait and pellets and other items. So the full kit, you get a tube to protect everything. You can just take that off and then you'll notice you get a tube with the PVA on and also you get a plunger inside. I'll come back to that in a little while, but to do hard pellets, it's really simple. I like to use a measure so the bag's the same every time. So for this, I've just got a little guru medium pole part and I've got a mixed bag of coarse pellets. So we've got a few different sizes in there and a few different flavors. Pop them in the tube, so they go down to the bottom. Give them a shake so they're all nice and even, and then just release a bit of the PVA off the tube. So there you go, it's all in the stock in there. Now the trick is to make the bag nice and tight. The tighter the bag, the quicker it will break down and the quicker you're fishing. So there's no room for saggy bags when fishing this way. Really easy to tie. Use three fingers, wrap the PVA around your fingers, and then drop the bag through the loop. Now a lot of people now think, oh, I'll pull the knot tight, but that's not the way. If you pull the loops, it just pushes down on the bag, creating a really, really nice tight bag. So get it as tight as you can, keep your fingers in there as long as possible, and then just literally stop, grab the knot, and pull it down tight. There you got a really nice tight little bag. Now that's ready to clip on, but to prepare yourself for the next one, simply, just tie another loop in the bag, probably an inch away from the first knot. So you've got two knots in there. Cut that one off nice and tight, and then your tube's ready for the next bag. I like to do a few of these at home. They last absolutely fine. You can pre-prepare them. It's even nicer in this sort of weather when it's nice, you can do it on the bank. But when it's wet and windy, do them at home, bring them with you, and then you're ready to go. So a nice little tight bag there. That's with hard pellets couldn't be simpler and I'll show you how to do the soft baits now as well. When loading soft baits in the PVA it's a little bit of a different process but very easy just the same. You've got a scoop on the tube which you can use to load the softer ground baits and pellets but again my match fishing brain tells me to use a little pot so I've got a perfect measure. So I'll just load it up but rather than letting the bait drop through the mesh this time you need to compress it because it's soft you just need to make a nice compression. So like molding a method feeder or a hybrid feeder. Once you've done that, just push it through the tube again using the plunger. And there you go, you've got a nice little pocket of bait there. Tie it up exactly the same using the loop to pull it nice and tight. Just get my fingers out. Once it's nice and tight, you can literally tie it onto your rig exactly the same way. So there it is, nice little package of bait and that can be hooked on and used in exactly the same manner. So two types of bait there, dead easy. So now your bags are tied, the next question is, how do you attach it to your rig? Quite simple really, I have my hook clamps 
all ready to go. There's one, and all I'm literally gonna do for the short range, maybe 40 to 50 meters max, you can literally just hook the bag on. So I pick towards the top of the bag, where the knot is, not on the knot, but near it, hook the rig on once, twist it round, and then hook it again. And that will literally just fire out and melt around nice and easily. And that's a good enough attachment. However, if you are casting at longer distances and going a bit further, you need to use one of these. This is just a, a latch needle. It's a heavy latch needle as well. So I'll push it through the bag from top to bottom, usually at an angle. So I'll go in one side and come out the other side of the knot. Push that through like so. So I hook the loop of my hook length on, fold over the latch so it will pull through the bag nicely, literally pull it all the way through, turn the hook away from the knot because that's the last thing to melt, pull it into the bag and there you go, that's super secure on the hook length and you can put that on your rig and you can chuck it up to 80, 90 meters with no problems at all. So when I'm using a PVA bag, I like to use two different types of rigs. One is a fixed bolt rig, and then the other one is a running rig. Depending on the conditions and the type of fishing I'm doing, I'll pick and even try both on the session and see which one works best. The fixed bolt rig is this simple system here. So this is the inline X-Safe leads, and that's got the sure X-Safe stem in. So this fits on your your main line exactly the same as a method or a hybrid will just with a tail rubber and it will clip on and you can swap it as you go along this is great in match conditions because i can swap from a pva bag rig through to a hybrid or a method rig in seconds this rig works really really well you've got the elastic as well in the section you need the quick change adapter obviously so you can change your hook length and add bags on at the same time so that's the rig short hook length that's 10 inches of 025 pure fluorocarbon. I really like using fluorocarbon when using a bag because it's a little bit stiffer, keeps the separation nice and easy, and it's very, very strong. Down to the hook, I've got a size 10 QM1 hook, and that's got a standard hair on it. And today I'm using the 10 mil mainline wafters as hook baits. The inline free running rig overall looks very similar to the bolt rig, but this meets different fishery regulations where you need a running rig. And also for me, in winter, when it's really, really hard, a running rig can get you a few extra bites. So it's well worth trying. It's a very simple setup. I'm using the Guru Micro Lead Clip on the main line, and that is attached to the lead. The lead's on the arm. Again, I'm using a heavy lead. That's a two ounce Guru distance lead. And again, that's to compensate for the weight of the bag itself. Then moving down, the lead clip comes with a standard swivel, but I've swapped that for the snap link and swivel. And what I've done is I've just literally crushed the back swivel so it doesn't lock into the lead clip. It's free running on the line. Then again, the hook length, quick change snap link adapter, to my usual 10 inch hook length to the same bag and maybe a different color hook bait or the same hook bait. Real simple rig, different from the fixed rig, but overall you're creating the same effect. Final little trick that I like to do when fishing PVA, although that looks very attractive and the fish absolutely love it, I like to go one step further. So, as you can see, my rig's buried in this hybrid activator. It's a PVA friendly mix, and it just gives the rig and the bait a little bit of extra scent, smell, and color. So that's dipped in there. I'll just dip it in for a minute, 30 seconds before I'm gonna cast it out, and it just gives the bag that extra flavor, an extra taste, and also a nice scent trail for the fish to find. Look at that, making a mess everywhere. <laughs>